Hi and welcome back to my channel and I want to start off this video today by saying Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's going to shortly be a new year. Uh, by the time you watch this video it may well have been. Um, this problem is about finding the area of this blue star. Now the reason I've chosen this problem, as you can probably imagine, stars quite commonly used imagery around Christmas, around New Year. Quite, quite topical, a topical problem. So we've got this star which is created inside of a hexagon and then we've got um, some lines that construct another equilateral, not equilateral, regular hexagon inside. So there's like an inner hexagon and then inside that is the star. Now this is a regular shape um, with chords going across the hexagon. So bear that in mind and the side length of the largest hexagon is six. Okay. I'm going to show you my solution in a few seconds, so if you want to have a go at solving this problem yourself and finding the area of the blue star, pause the video now. Okay, otherwise I'm going to show you my solution in three, two, one. Okay, now the first thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to look at the symmetry. There's a lot of symmetry in a hexagon and we've got a hexagon inside this hexagon and then we've got a star inside that. So there's lots of symmetry that we can use here. Now I put these lines on first of all, and what this shows is that the innermost hexagon, the hexagon inside the blue star, that is split up into six equilateral triangles, okay? Now from there, we've got the points of the star outside of that innermost hexagon. If we look at this, these three rectangles to make a large rectangle stacked on top of each other, we've also got some symmetry there. So those rectangles will be um, identical. They'll be the same rectangles. They will fold on top of each other. Now, if you're not sure or not convinced by any of this symmetry, you can look into it. You can investigate the angles and you can prove for yourself that this symmetry is there and does exist, particularly with these rectangles, if you like. Now, what that means is, because we can fold these rectangles on top of each other, these triangles that we've made are all equal, and they're all equilateral triangles. So they will all have the, all have the same areas. Now, that's important, because what that means is we only need to work out the area of one of these blue triangles, and just times it by however many we've got, to get the full area of that star. Okay, so now, let's zoom into this problem. Let's isolate what we're trying to work out and that is just one of these blue triangles. Now we know that's got a width of six. So if you don't believe me we can go back. That is the same width as the uh, length of or width of the hexagon, or the side of the hexagon, because it's uh, parallel to the base. Okay, so I'm going to label that A, B, C, D and E just to make things a bit easier in terms of explanation explanation. What we know as well because of the previous symmetry is that these sides have to be equal. So the left hand side, those two sides have to be equal and the right hand side, those two sides have to be equal because of the symmetry that we had with the hexagon. Now what we also know that this third side of that triangle must equal must be equal because that's an equilateral triangle. What that then means is that we split that six up into three, and so we get the, the side length of our equilateral triangle as being two. Six divided by three is two. Now we can then work out the area of this equilateral triangle. We know uh, the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60, and we've got two sides uh, of length two. So we're going to use the formula for area of a triangle, half AB sine C. So the area of triangle EBD is equal to a half of 2 times 2, that's 2 of the sides times together, times by sine of the angle in between those sides, which has got to be 60. That gives us an answer of root 3. So that means one of those triangles has got an area of root 3. We have got 12 of those triangles to make up our star. So 12 times root 3 is 12 root 3. Okay, pretty neat and a pretty nice solution. I, I personally really like the way 
that the symmetry is involved with this problem. I've done a very similar one earlier on, well not earlier on today, but previously on my YouTube channel where it was just about very similar but finding an inner hexagon and not a star in this case. But it gives you a very nice answer. Um, hopefully if you if you did this yourself, excuse me, you were able to get the same answer. Uh, and if you like this problem, if you were able to get the same answer, please consider dropping a like on the video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I release a new problem solving video every week, Monday at 5pm. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye bye.